In the theater of modern warfare, air defense systems represent the shield against aerial threats, a crucial component of any nation's defense strategy. These systems, armed with intricate radar technology and powerful missiles, stand as the nation's first line of defense against a multitude of aerial threats. Ranging from enemy aircraft and helicopters to unmanned aerial vehicles and even ballistic missiles, air defense systems are the guardians of a country's airspace sovereignty. They ensure the safety of the nation's people, its infrastructure, and its military assets. Furthermore, these systems play a critical role in shaping the strategic balance of power, deterring potential aggressors and ensuring peace and stability. It is therefore no surprise that countries invest heavily in developing and procuring advanced air defense systems, each tailored to the unique operational requirements and strategic context of their defense strategy. Today we will delve into a comparative analysis of two such systems, the Akash from India and the HQ-2 from Pakistan. Hailing from India, we have the Akash, a robust air defense system with a unique set of capabilities. Let's dive into the technical details. The Akash boasts an impressive max engagement range of 25 kilometers and can operate at altitudes soaring up to 18 kilometers. This range and altitude give it a significant advantage when defending against a variety of aerial threats. The guidance system of the Akash is a cut above the rest, using a combination of command guidance and active radar homing. This advanced system allows for precision targeting and superior tracking abilities, essential in modern warfare. As for the warhead, the Akash employs a 55-kilogram high-explosive fragmentation warhead. While not as large as some of its counterparts, it's still a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. The Akash's speed is nothing to scoff at either. It can reach speeds of up to Mach 2.5, which is roughly 3,000 kilometers per hour. This speed allows the missile to intercept and neutralize threats rapidly. The Akash's mobility is another aspect that sets it apart. Mounted on a T-72 chassis, this system offers high mobility and better cross-country maneuverability, making it a highly versatile asset on the battlefield. Now let's talk about the radar. The Akash uses the Rajendra phased array radar, which can track multiple targets simultaneously. This advanced radar system is a game-changer, offering a broad coverage area and superior tracking capabilities. Finally, the Akash's interoperability is worth noting. It can be integrated with other air defense systems such as the Israeli Spider and the Russian S-300. This flexibility allows for a more robust and comprehensive defense network. In summary, the Akash is an advanced, high-speed, highly mobile air defense system with a powerful radar and an effective warhead. It's designed to counter a range of aerial threats, making it a versatile and formidable asset in India's defense arsenal. The Akash, with its advanced phased array radar and high mobility, is a formidable air defense asset in India's arsenal. From Pakistan, we have the HQ-2, an air defense system that packs quite a punch. This formidable piece of military hardware has a maximum engagement range of 25 kilometers and can operate at altitudes up to 18 kilometers, matching the Akash missile system of India. The HQ-2 employs a combination of command guidance and semi-active radar homing, a slightly different approach from its Indian counterpart. This guidance system allows it to accurately track and engage with enemy targets, ensuring the defense of Pakistan's airspace. A notable feature of the HQ-2 is its warhead, weighing in at 130 kilograms. This high-explosive fragmentation warhead is more than twice the size of the Akash's. This larger payload means that the HQ-2 can cause significant damage to any target it engages. When it comes to speed, the HQ-2 doesn't lag behind either. It can reach speeds of up to Mach 2.8, which is around 3,500 kilometers per hour. This speed allows it to quickly intercept and engage with incoming threats, providing a robust defense against aerial attacks. The HQ-2 system is mounted on a Chinese WS-2300 chassis, offering high mobility. This allows for rapid repositioning and deployment, ensuring that the system can quickly respond to changing battlefield conditions. As for radar, 
the HQ-2 uses a Chinese-made system capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously. While it may not be as advanced as the phased array radar used by the Akash, it is still highly effective in maintaining situational awareness and coordinating the defense of Pakistan's airspace. Finally, interoperability is a key feature of the HQ-2. It can be integrated with other air defense systems, including the Chinese HQ-9 and the Russian S-300. This allows for a layered and comprehensive air defense strategy, further strengthening Pakistan's aerial defenses. The HQ-2, with its larger warhead and slightly faster speed, is a key pillar of Pakistan's air defense strategy. It is a testament to Pakistan's commitment to safeguarding its airspace and protecting its citizens from aerial threats. Having explored the technical aspects of both systems, it's time to pit them against each other in a comparative analysis. When we look at the Akash and HQ-2, we find several striking differences that set them apart. First, in terms of guidance systems, the Akash uses active radar homing. This means it has an onboard radar, giving it the ability to see its target. On the other hand, the HQ-2 employs semi-active radar homing, which relies on ground-based radar signals bounced off the target to guide the missile. Next, we have the warheads. The HQ-2 packs a heavier punch with a high explosive fragmentation warhead weighing in at 130 kilograms. The Akash, though not as heavy, carries a 55 kilogram warhead that is nonetheless formidable. Speed is another factor where the two systems differ. The HQ-2 can reach speeds of up to Mach 2.8, making it slightly faster than the Akash, which maxes out at Mach 2.5. But speed isn't everything, and both systems are more than capable of intercepting fast-moving aerial targets. When it comes to radar, the Akash takes the lead. Its Rajendra phased array radar is more advanced than the traditional radar system employed by the HQ-2. This gives the Akash an edge in tracking multiple targets simultaneously, making it a formidable air defense system. Mobility is another area where the systems show their uniqueness. Both are highly mobile thanks to their respective chassis. However, the Akash's T-72 chassis gives it better cross-country mobility, allowing it to be rapidly repositioned in response to changing battlefield conditions. Remember though that these systems are not just collections of technical features. They are tools designed to meet the strategic needs of their respective countries. The Akash is built to counter a wide range of aerial threats, while the HQ-2 is primarily focused on countering Indian air power. Both the Akash and the HQ-2 have their unique strengths, tailored to the strategic needs of their respective countries. In the end, the effectiveness of an air defense system lies not just in its technical specifications, but also in how well it integrates with a country's overall defense strategy.